Has your child been diagnosed with scoliosis? Have you been told if their curves continue to progress, they will need surgery? Or have you already been told that your child needs an operation? If so, pay close attention. The information you've been given about your child's condition may be incomplete or simply untrue. But the choices you make now based on that information will affect them for the rest of their life. Scoliosis is a serious spinal disorder. Left untreated, scoliosis could cause your child to wind up severely crooked and in chronic pain during their adult years. This is why surgery is typically recommended in cases where a child's Cobb angle curve exceeds 40 to 50 degrees. But if your child's curves are below 25 degrees, you may have been told the best thing to do is just wait and see if their curves get worse, to come back in a year and check their spine again, that there's no need to do anything now. This is bad advice. The fact is, scoliosis almost always progresses. This is especially true if your child has yet to go through their adolescent growth spurt, or in the case of girls, has yet to menstruate. Curves can rapidly worsen during these growth periods. You may have also been told that bracing can stop curves from getting worse. Your child may even be wearing a brace already. But while bracing can be highly effective if properly administered, many brace designs, especially those typically prescribed in the U.S., simply don't work. And because x-rays can't be done frequently on a growing child due to radiation exposure, if a brace isn't working, six months or a year may pass before the doctor and the parents even know. As a result, many kids, even after wearing an uncomfortable brace for years, discover their curves are still getting worse. In such cases, Parents are typically told the only option left is surgery. The usual recommendation is spinal fusion, in which two metal rods are implanted on either side of a child's spine. But although spinal fusion is far safer than it used to be, the procedure still presents many risks. Kids who get fusion surgery frequently experience debilitating back pain later in life. Their curves may continue to progress where the spine was not fused. And in more than 30% of cases, multiple additional surgeries are needed. Another more recent option is vertebral body tethering, or VBT, which involves attaching a tether or cable to the spine rather than metal rods. But although it's described as less invasive, VBT is still a major surgery that typically requires six hours on the operating table with multiple screws and other metal devices being implanted in the spine. Often the child's lung has to be deflated to perform the procedure. It's not a minor surgery by any stretch. Being in this situation as a parent can be confusing and frightening. It may seem like nothing can be done to stop the insidious disease that's stalking your child. That's because the current approach to treating scoliosis needs to change. It shouldn't take months or years to figure out whether a particular approach is working. Watching helplessly while your child's curves get worse in spite of bracing should not be a common outcome. There ought to be a better way. And now there is. But it starts with you. If you want a different future for your child, you need to change the way you've been looking at the situation. You need new information, but mostly, you need to change your mind. You have to decide that what you've been told, that your child's scoliosis will keep getting worse no matter what you do, that surgery may eventually be your only option, simply isn't acceptable. You have to demand better answers. You have to insist on a better outcome for your child. The good news is, a better answer may now be available to you. Doctors Matthew and Michael Jansen and the team of highly skilled specialists at Scoliosis Care Centers have been helping children with scoliosis since 2009. In the initial period, the team struggled with consistent results. While they achieved some remarkable successes, with certain patients, no matter what treatment approach was used, their spinal curves did not reduce and sometimes continued to worsen. Determined to improve the lives of these young patients and realizing that without truly understanding the cause of a problem, it's impossible to solve it, the brothers dove into all the research they could find on what possibly causes scoliosis. And eventually, in a groundbreaking study done over 50 years ago by noted neurologist Dr. Mylan Roth, they found what they were looking for. Scoliosis does have a cause. Although it's typically described as idiopathic, meaning of unknown cause, there is a reason the spine curves abnormally in some children. 
And as they discovered, that same reason was identified as a cause of spinal curvature in research done by Professor of Neurosurgery, Dr. Richard Porter, in the early 2000s. And again, by Professor and Orthopedic Surgeon, Dr. Richard Jeffrey Burwell, in 2015. When Dr. Matthew Jansen's own daughter showed early signs of the disease, the need for a new treatment approach based on these research findings became paramount. Could curves be reduced in a growing child with long-term results? Even better, could curves be prevented from developing in the first place with early detection? Fast forward to today, and that is exactly what has been achieved. Built on this understanding of the basic cause of scoliosis, along with new discoveries of their own, the team at Scoliosis Care Centers has developed a unique and comprehensive five-step treatment method that has completely redefined what's possible for children suffering from this disorder. The results speak for themselves. In hundreds of cases, the revolutionary approach utilized at scoliosis care centers has enabled children with progressing scoliosis to not only stop their curves from getting worse, but frequently reduce and sometimes even eliminate them entirely. Kids who have been told surgery was their only option have instead gone on to lead active, pain-free lives with their curves stably below surgical threshold. We achieve these kinds of results in our clinic literally every day. Find out what's possible for your child. Schedule a no-charge review of your child's spinal images with one of our specialists to determine whether they are a candidate for treatment. Going through life with a crooked spine or getting spinal surgery are not the only options. Schedule a review today. You literally have nothing to lose and your child has the possibility of a pain-free, fully active future to gain.